one owner car guy and I don't have the op most optimum t timing or placement for this car. I'm kind of um, blocked in by my Bricklin and a Jeep and a van and about five more out there and a bunch over here and yeah. You know. So this one I got to do right where it is and show you the 1981 Peugeot 604 diesel. Um, this is, I believe is a one or a two owner car. Um, I've got all the original books and maintenance stuff and um, window sticker. Even got the window sticker. 81, this car was like 21 grand or something. That's a lot of money. Um, well, it's going to be hard for me to get once around on my once around. But I'm still going to go around show you anything that I see on it or anything like that. But... It's a straight car. I'll kind of do a once around. And then we'll show you the inside and start it up and all that. Oh, wait, was the last registration. Got a telephone pole in the way here. So that's a once around. Now, I didn't get this video or pictures into this eBay ad until the last day. This car's an absolute steal. It's the kind of thing that you can get home, tinker around with, and get going, and kind of, I'd restore it and fix it up. Um, original paint all over. I don't know if it's been painted, um, but if it did, they did a great job. Whoever did this took great care of it. Um, I'm going to show you everything here now. OneOwnerCarGuy.com, Nathan, 406-544. 6919. Get a drink there before I get too far into this. First thing I want to show you is the hood. Got some spots on it, as you can see. Um, just the general area where the paint came off a little bit, and you can see a lot of stuff like that there. So the hood definitely needs to be painted. And then the fenders, it comes up over that a bit. A couple little chips. Sides and everything back here are nice and smooth. It's clean. A few little spots around the gas tank and some of your plastic or fake trim errors came off. Um, this piece here, the backing tape is gone. A few cracks in that little lens cover. This piece is still there and in great shape. Covers that up. Um, these actually take some armor or something nicely. We haven't detailed this or anything. You got a couple flat tires. These pieces of trim are pretty old, but you know, they're just stuck on type things. That's replaceable with a roll of it. Middle trim of the door is all good. Chrome trim on the bottom looks beautiful. Factory chip guard on the bottom looks great couple tiny spots starting right there. This piece of trims all came off, but like I say, this is that cheap PVC stuff. I wish I would have just went before my auction. That's pop riveted in there. We'll put it like that for now. So, Nathan, 406-544-6919. Let me get underneath it here show you underneath a few leaks on the we replaced a few fuel lines and then you got this piece here I think you took the AC compressor off um, these cars run for a hell of a long time there you go and I'm sure you find a wet gasket like you see there something it don't leak all over the place so um, Love their logo. Go to Netherlands a couple times a year. Absolutely love it over there, and they have lots of Peugeots. Don't see them that often here. Wheel Wells factory undercoating and stuff still on there. A little dirty. All that had come off. I ain't even gonna touch it. My hands just get all dirty.
Uh, low level light adjustment will take a second here. And you should be able to see the tranny pan really well. There you go. Just as nice as it gets. Clean as can be. Nice California car. Um, if you're looking for a 604 to work on and make it into a beautiful, nice car. Look at the factory wires and stuff. It's all zip. He zip tied them to make them go closer together. I don't know if that's, that's got to be factory. Um, ding, right there. You can see the door. I'm sure you'll find a few small insignificant things. Like there's one tiny one right there. Glass looks pretty good. Wiper blades are bad. Need to repair them. It needs to be greased and lubed. Bup, 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 bup. Some kind of repair it needs. Same thing on the trim here. Wheels are great. Um, okay, I'm going to show you the back. And I got this tarp here. And Samantha is going to help us for a second. And I'm going to put this here over my head. So we can show you this. Box it in. Hang on a sec. Oh! Here we go. Here, first off, let me show you the window sticker. If you want to pause it, I'll get you kind of a close up there. Okay. You got the lid, don't close it on me. Tires on back order, he ordered them in 90 with um, 64,000. Michelin's, that's what he ordered. Got the maintenance record book, and a lot of it is filled out. Not all of it, but. Oh, I'd say 40% of it or so. And a couple skipped where we did the next one, where they were simple services. Back in 93, did the... You can read that valve cover. Excuse me. Um, head gasket. And cylinder head. 1500 bucks. And your Michelin tire thing, your warranty booklet. Atlas of diesel fuel stations, original plastic thing, and a little update letter that's kind of torn apart. Think about that, there used to not be enough diesel around, they used to have to tell you where they were to where you could find fuel. We sure use a lot of it now. I wonder if it was like now somebody, Bratwa or somebody can tell me, was it like that in Europe? Back in the 80s, where there was no diesel? Or did you guys have it all over like that, like you do now? Because I know in the 80s here, you didn't really have a lot of places that had diesel. In fact, when the gas crisis came in the 80s, let's show this side first. Let's just keep walking. Boy, let that close. When the gas crisis came, we had to, we used to go over with big tanks to Mexico and pull, um, come bring gas back with us that we used. Okay, door panels are in good condition. I like how when you didn't get the uh, power window, when you didn't get the manual windows, they just put a plug in over the thing. You know, the back seat's in good shape. Um, you can see the seam starting to come right there where it pinches it together and makes it the tuck and roll or whatever you call it. Carpet's in great condition. We didn't vacuum it or nothing, it's just been sitting. Um, backs of your seats here are absolutely beautiful. Still cushy and flush. Really nice. Beautiful. Oh, gold bar. Gold bar. Gold bar. Damn it. I'm going to find a gold bar or something in one of these someday. Gold bar. Gold bar. $500 bill. I don't know. Still cushy here. Oh, these are beautiful here on the faces. Tops are not split through yet, but they're a little harder. Not cracky hard, but harder. These are just absolutely beautiful. This seat is not. Rear power window controls. Eh. 
Man, they just plug them in anywhere, wouldn't they? Yeah, that ought to work. Just put them on the back of the console. That one needs to be greased up. All the other ones open and close amazingly. More door panel for ya. More door panel! Oh wait, that's cowbell. And like I say, this hasn't even been... You could say it hasn't been shampooed. Well, it hasn't even been cleaned up. Um, crack in the dash right there, you can see. And a couple there. Let me get a close-up. Splits at the seams there. A guy could pull these off and split them back together and have the original stuff. I mean, that could be sewn back together. Every, let's put it this way, ribs or tears? No. Tears at the seam. Only at the seams in this car. It's not all tore up. This thing was very well maintained and taken care of. Original Peugeot radio. I'm going to go from this side just because we're so crunched on what we're doing here. Oops. Okay, pop the hood. That's inside. My name's Nathan. It's 406 544 6919. Two flat tires on the Peugeot 604. Open it up. Okay. It's hard to take pictures out this time of day. I want you to be able to see down in things how clean or how dirty or how whatever it is it is. Man, I thought I was going to get this one uploaded for today. I don't think so. This thing's going to take quite a few hours. I'm probably at over two gigs now. This is loose here because the battery thing was taken out to put a battery in. Um, I'm sure you're going to tighten up this or that, buy this or that. Like this. This belt's loose and that is a little loose. I would get that tightened up and this belt here is just old. Um, I'm going to go ahead, just for the heck of it here. Um, can we block that again? Block this again? There we go. Look at these pedals. Hang on. It's just got my footprint on it from pulling it forward in this dirt lot I've got here, but there is nowhere, man, hardly anywhere. Right on the edge, you can see a little from where they would rest their foot. Nowhere on the kick panel. I don't have the floor mats. Um, it hasn't been started in a random while. This switch here is bad, and your windows need some work. Um, they start to go down in a gauge. The regulators need grease and stuff, is my guessing. And, you know, I can't seem to get these turned off. I think it's supposed to be right there, but I'm not sure. Can you run and get the jump box? All we had was a bad battery that was kind of half-assedly here. So, and while kind of cleaning it up and leaving doors open for this and that to take pictures, we ran out of battery. Juice. Juice! Need juice! A couple of little things. It looks like he spilled something in there at some point. No, oh, sticky or nothing. Actually, more feels like he spilled some Elmer's glue in there. Okay, we got a jump box. This is tight and it engages because I couldn't go nowhere when I had it on. Peugeot Digital Radio. I'm here to tell you. Good? Yeah. I think 
get going faster. And it likes to run for a second and then it kind of runs a little... I was almost out of fuel earlier, I know that. And then it'll kind of die out. Now we put a gallon in. You took it off? You've got to be joking me that she took the jump box off. Well, hot day. Underneath the tarp especially, I killed that camera. It overheated. Now we'll see if I still got enough juice. Oh yeah. You give it a big plug like that, and it wants to die. Now you can keep it running. It'll idle forever. Your fuel gauge is dropped there. We put about a gallon in it, so we're sucking a little air. So you're gonna have to fix this piece too. Um, the door lock mechanism's there, but this piece has a crack in it. And you can fix it when you're um, doing the interior, I'm sure. Look how nice this opens and closes. Same thing here. Just falls shut. Well, it's a beautiful car obvious issues that I've shown you. Top here surface is great. Um, showed you the under the hood. Well that's part of it too. This thing's so loose it's pitiful. But like I say I forgot to get the deal done set that right on my concrete and drain it. Forgot to get the videos and picture done again because I had an SD problem with my card and I needed to do them again and I had seven cars to do again. This is the second to last one. I don't think I'm going to get the other one. But I had a few calls on this one so I figured I'd do it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are. Had to give the heads up to a guy there that went by I knew and man I don't know nothing else to tell you about this car I hate to be the one to take it apart and get eight grand out of the parts but man it's clean and I'd like to sell it to someone who wants to use it and put it into service and get her going somebody really took care of it has all them books and paperwork and the factory sticker and all that the two flats on the other side Man, you're not going to drive this to Florida. You're not going to tinker around with it and drive it to Florida. You need to get it to where you are, tinker around with it, and drive it around. You're going to replace something in the first, you know, six months, six weeks, six minutes. I don't know. Good car. Nathan, 406-544-6919. Super low mile. Import, export. I'll send it to any port. Any port. Lots of stuff to Rotterdam. Rotterdam is like $12.95 to $14.95 for a car about this size. Um, Bremerhaven is about $100 more uh, over in Germany. I'm probably hacking that all up and saying it wrong. But thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are. Road trip. That's right. Road trip coming up. And you're going to see some cool videos from about five, six states. And going to my ranch. Going to shoot some gophers. Yeehaw! We'll talk to you.